In this lesson, we're going to stick with the basics section and we are going to work on the preloader. A preloader just preloads something on the screen if that's what you want to, to show. And the box layout allows you, instead of having like a, this called a flat layout, that's going to change into a box layout. So let's click on the preloader and let's click on the box. Now, when you have the back box layout, you can be able to choose the background that you want. You can choose to inherit. You can choose to repeat horizontally. You can choose pretty much any one of these. Now, what this is saying, the background repeat is if you have a particular image that you want to put in the background, you can have the flexibility um, to do so here. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But let's click on save so that you can see the effect that the preloader and the box layout had on the template. So as you saw there, the preloader loaded for a few moments and then the template show. Now the box layout, this is what it looks like. So maybe if you're, you're going for uh, something different and you want to have it like this, then you can be able to use this layout. Uh, sometimes this box layout works for some, but it may not work for you. So now let's take a look at the background here. So let's change the background image. Go to select. And for now, I'm just going to use this gallery and see how this looks. You can pretty much choose any image that you want, but let's try this out and see what we get. So you have that, so that's gonna be the background image and you can choose to inherit just to keep it how it is. You can choose no repeat, repeat or repeat horizontally and vertically. Now this is where the plate part comes in. You can feel free to just test everything out and try different variations, see what you like. So the background size, you can choose to contain when you have cover, it's going to cover everything. When you have contain, it's going to be contained in a particular area. So let's keep it at contain. And let's go down to the background attachment. Do you want it to be scroll or do you want it to be uh, fixed? Uh, what fixed does here is when you're scrolling, the image stay fixed and everything else move. However, with scroll, when you scroll, everything scrolls down. So let's try fix first and see what that looks. And then the background position, you can choose several options here. Once again, choose any option that you want here to see how it looks this like more personal preference uh, because maybe you're going for a particular look that you want so i'm just going to keep this right now to just the left top and we'll see how that looks so next you want to click on save and there's the preload and the action as you can see here so that little circle is a preloader so now you have this background and you know it shows back there so you can gives you a lot of you know ways for you to create things now, for some people, you know, they want to be able to add something in the background. Maybe you're having a special event or something. You can be able to add something back there uh, for that. That's what that cover does. Now, if you go down here and you click on contain and you make that change, let's say. So when you scroll, everything stay fixed in the background. But let's change to contain and let's go over to scroll and see the effects that has. So let's change from left top. I'm just going to pick your right top and click on save. So now you have this, and as you notice when I'm scrolling up, it's scrolling up with the image. And you notice that the image here is two of it now. So that's what contain does because the image wasn't large enough to cover everything. Uh, the resolution was, you know, not large enough. So it's express it's you know spreading out to the bottom here. But you can fix that. You can change fix, you know, horizontally, vertically. So that is how you customize the body part and it gives you a lot of flexibility for you to design it exactly how you want it to be. Once again, whatever image that you can put on the background, whatever you want to put there, that is a great way. If you have an special promo or something, then you want to be able to put that back there. But once again, it's up to you to use your creativity and do whatever you think works best for your business or your website.